Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Bridge Commander with me, Get Daved. We're right at the start of the last episode. The beginning of the end. Normally there's a mo- there we go. Stardate 55416.1. The Kessok device was remarkably intact despite the impact of its landing and the harsh conditions of Alios 6. If only my shuttle had held as well, I could have saved the Sovereign the trouble of my rescue. Feel guilty. I should provide much needed information. However, the logic of the machine itself is somewhat illogical from what I've discovered so far. An in-depth analysis should prove extremely interesting. So, Incoming message from it Admiral was confusing. Zeta. Captain, it is evident from Commander Data's report that these alien devices pose an extreme hazard to all Federation colonies in the area. Oh, well, really? They we could fly it to Earth. There's nothing stuck. ...while these weapons exist. Therefore, your orders are to locate and destroy these devices. Sure. Admiral, the devices are mobile and capable of warp. Finding them will be a challenge. Exactly for that reason, Commander, I'm extending your assignment on board the Sovereign. You will be most helpful in finding more of the devices. Also, continue your research of Kessok technology. The more we know about it, the better. Understood, Admiral. I'm assigning the USS Geronimo and USS San Francisco to your task force. Yay! Captain, I cannot stress enough the importance of this mission. The Federation's hopes lie with you. You out. If I were the Cardassians, oh. On screen. We're standing by, Sovereign. Ready when you are. San Francisco standing by, Captain. It's a huge area of space, Captain. Where do we start? As I pointed out earlier, Commander, the Kessuk probes emit a high concentration of anti-protons while in use. I am afraid that is the only real lead we have. Chief Brex, if you modify your sensors, you may be able to yes, get Captain. more accurate readings Docking in the upper EM band. Initiated. The devices will only emit anti-protons while in use, so we should concentrate our Wait, seriously? On the stars of this sector. Chief, already on a commander. Done. Go ahead, Miguel. Captain, long-range sensors are picking up unusually high concentrations Hello, of anti-protons in the Reha system. To Reha. Of the devices. Sir, I've added the coordinates for the Reha system to the con. Listen, look at my crew, figuring things out on their own, Captain? taking nice initiative, Hi, I just have to say warp. Hope I don't regret having the shields down. Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. I can't get any discernible Captain, readings though. Can That's you get a more right. precise location? Not at this range, Commander. There's too much interference. Captain, I'm picking up two Kessok ships and a Cardassian Galore. Red alert, the shields Kessok up. have detected us and are moving to engage. The Galore is remaining behind. Hmm. hmm. What's that Galore up to? If we can disable them, we might be able to ask that question. Well, these guys are completely overmanned. Oh, they are Kessok ships. Those are pretty adequate. I praise. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. I am a little hesitant to rely too much on quantum torpedoes here, but uh, I think we'll have plenty of opportunities to reload and everything, so. You may have noticed I do like to ration pretty regularly, though. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Yeah. There we go, everyone's ganging up on this one now, so... The bell tolls for thee! Target hull integrity oh my goodness. Give yourself points if you noticed I was fighting with low intensity phasers this whole time. I did notice that I was able to hold shots for a pretty long time. Have been breached, Captain. 
Again, it's not the end of the world, but I'm not really targeting specific subsystems because I'm, you know, not able to use voice command. No, still too early to go for the galore. Come on. There you go. More evidence, everybody, that getting the double arrows is not sufficient for a torpedo hit all the time. It's usually pretty good for the forward arc, though. Oh my goodness. The raft shield has failed, Captain. And now your side shields aren't looking too good either. It was tempting to go after their aft shields there, but... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Always nice when you can nail them during cloak. Also, if the Kessok ha- oh. Never mind. I think I've kind of noticed a plot issue, but uh, we'll talk about it later. Captain, the last Kessok ship has been destroyed. Let's see about that galore now. Let's kill him. It's going to take us a while to close that gap, but I don't think I'm going to redirect more power to the engines. No, never mind, he sped up. Training, sir. He was in the 3000s, that's one thing, but if he commits to a direction, he can move pretty quickly. Well, there we go. The head on rush. I respect that. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Um, let's turn the old phasers down. I almost destroyed the ship. Yeah, I'm not such a fan of how those guys are flying right now. Not gonna fire any torpedoes this time. And since we're draining a lot of power right now... What with the tractor beam and everything. I'm just going to try rationing power a little bit as I use it. Surely this constitutes a disabled ship now. Maybe I'll have to take his impulse engines offline as well. There we go. And tractor off. Now we're nice and close, but there's probably no sense scanning without 125%. Initiating scan. Some people have commented that that could be done entirely passively in this game. True. On board, sir. The crew is dead. Your life support system might have been destroyed in the battle. Incoming message from the Geronimo. Huh. On screen. With your permission, Captain, I'd like to do the honors of putting away that galore myself. It might be prudent to check their log. <laughs> the Gull might not have had time to destroy it. Operations, Miguel. As far as I can tell, her bridge is still functional. Give us some time, Captain McRae. That ship may have some secrets to tell us. Uh, Under yeah. Sovereign, linking through communications. Kiss or we could have, have a free a lot, ship. Captain. Running checks. Got it. How download can we download now. the log here. from here? This should be the relevant part. It's the mission logs of their Gull, Havar. Audio only, sir. Mission log of the Kyria. Gull Havar Bardem. assigned a defensive role for one of the four devices. Four devices? And are en route to the Rehar system. Matan warned us to take every safety precaution. 
as the Federation has two sovereign class vessels proud of the sector, Aww. making a fine mess of our carefully laid plan. Compliments. The logs continue, but are very broken up. It looks like the Gull tried to purge mission logs, but it only Main worked halfway. Main power is at 50%. I'll clear it up as much as I can. Cancel red alert. What you got? Part, sir. This is from the final entry. Okay. So the Kessok device is cloaked. That would explain why we couldn't find it on our sensors. That would also explain the plot hole I thought I found. Should we allow McCray to do the honors, sir? You know what? Red alert, shields up. We should not. How you like that, McCray? has been destroyed. Captain, there's an object decloaking nearby. Really? On screen. Look at that. It's the Kessick device. Is it? It's using a Romulan cloaking device. Why would the Romulans give the Cardassians a cloaking device? I Sir, assume the another ship is on a collision course. With another them. source. The device appears to be powering up to direct a pulse of high energy plasma directly into the sun. Oh, that's there no are good. No signs of external or internal lens. Well, that's not very reassuring. The bottom shield is draining, sir. what one of these things can do to a solar system. Even if we don't know how it does what it does, we can just take it out. Can't we? That's the problem, Chief. I'm not sure where to lock our phasers. I can't detect the any shield vulnerable is areas. Draining. We could increase power to the sensors. We might be able to penetrate the shielding and get a better idea of the inner workings of this thing. Already did, Miguel. Scan. Now he's going to say I got to get within 20 Scan kilometers. Successful. Oh, wow. Commander Data, what do you make of this? Interesting. These scans are going to take some detailed analysis. However, I yeah, believe it is we have safe to survive the shield. Device. But aren't we risking destroying the entire system with it? I trust <laughs> Commander Data's assessment. I have isolated the device's component systems. If we focus phaser fire on the warp core, I believe we can neutralize it. Weird. Target the, at new targeting information target the reactor and it'll blow up. I've targeted the device's warp core. Ready to fire on your command, Captain. All right, let's do it. Sir, the right shield has failed. Looks like everybody else is going after the warp core as well, which is nice. And system saved. Or this is how the device is destroyed. destroyed. I'm not sure. Captain, I will update Starfleet with our current findings. We should continue our search. Captain, now that the device is destroyed, our scans may be able to pick up more distant anti-proton emissions. Please scan. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm picking up more anomalous readings near the Sevilrai system's sun. I think we may have found another one of the devices. All right. The coordinates for Sevilrai into the navigational computer. Go to warp. Warping at red alert, which is technically wasting some of our power, but I'm not going to lose sleep over that one. Captain, I'm reading a second Kessok device. We're in luck. They didn't bother cloaking this one. Mines. They didn't have to. I'm also reading half a dozen Kessok vessels. Oh my goodness. Is there any more good news? Well, our odds are pretty slim against that many Kessok warships. Perhaps we can evade them long enough to destroy the device they are protecting. Whatever we do, we should do it fast. Oh boy. The Kessok have just noticed us and are turning to intercept. The heavy cruiser is staying back. They're coming at us in waves. They're locking weapons. We have to get past the defensive line. Device. Derpercept. Plotted. No. Intercept, Kiska. Intercept course plotted. Just go fast. All right. Now we're going to want just shields. Sir, our aft shield is draining. Isn't it your job to fix that, Brex? 
Actually, I take it back. You just keep making smug remarks. That's your own way of helping. Alright, there's the warp core. Somewhat indistinguishable from the other faces, but we've got it now. Main power is at 50%. Don't need the engines anymore. Density phasers. Bottom shield. I'm hoping one more pass will be adequate. We might need uh, the full spread of. Actually, you know what? We might not even have to wait for the reload. That was a very encouraging amount of damage. This is not like a deep space installation. See you later. Solar device has been destroyed. Course laid in. Any reason to stay? We might not have to. The Kessak appear to be fleeing. Oh, okay, let's stop that. Captain, we have the Kessak ships are warping shield. out of the system. Not if I can help it. Us. On screen. Oh, did you see that sovereign? We chased them off. Yes, we noticed. Running like the cowards they are. With their tails tucked between their legs. Oh, Brex, don't you become more like him. Actually, they fought with determination until the device was destroyed. <laughs> that may have meaning. But you're wrecking their narrative. I do not know. The Kessak are highly intelligent. There is method to their strategy. Somehow, I do not believe cowardice is their motivation. Miguel, can we track the Their objective was destroyed. No. There was no Sorry, reason to stay. The warp signatures are being masked by some kind of magnetic field left behind by their ships. All my readings are scattered. They're gone. We should continue our search. Uh, can we find anything else? Cancel red alert. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm getting faint anti-proton readings. I'm not sure, but they could be coming from the Belarus system. It might be worth checking out. All right. I've transferred the coordinates for Belarus to the con. Course laid in. Nope, we're going to go to Starbase 12 yes. and repair, or reload quantum torpedoes, really. And I'm going to end the video here. Next time, we'll continue uh, tracking down the devices. I'll see you there, everybody.